Hi, this is Nisim. Today we have a new model, new video model for one. The, you, can, you, you can say it's the one because it's much better than other models of videos and the rendering time is really, really good. It's like 50, 36 seconds on my uh, 4090 GPU. And I want to show you some of the examples that I, that I created, which are really good. Now, each one is around uh, two seconds, like 33 uh, frames, when I render them in around uh, a 60, 16 frames per second video. Okay, and the video are really good. Now, the rendering time, as I said, is around 36, 45 seconds, depend the duration. I will show you more long videos. I made some uh, videos of kittens because I want to uh, check how a real movement is. And it's quite good, okay? It's weird a little bit, but it's much better than other model. The, the uh, other last model that was the same speed was, was the LTX video model, which was uh, not so good. But that one is really, really good, as you can see. Okay? Now, this is lots of kittens, but let's see something that is not kittens. Okay? So, you have different angles. You, you can see how the, the model itself is showing the thing re really well. Uh, but there are uh, times when the video that it rendered, it's uh, like static. Okay? So, there are not so many uh, movements, like in here. It's a little moving, but not so much. Like here, it's a static. Here you, you can see the leaves moving, etc., which is very nice, but you can get a very, very good in uh, this uh, rendering time. Now, I want to show you um, the same rendering, but done with the two different uh, uh, model parameters. That one, that model is uh, 1.3 billion. And that model is the 14 billion. So you can see the difference. The 14 billion is better. It's giving it, the same parameter. Everything is the same. It just give you better result. The problem is that it can take like 10 times, 15 times the, the, the other model. And the memory, I don't know if most of the computer can actually run it. It took me, I will give you now the data about how long is the is the duration of the creation so the now we are talking about text to video okay so the 1.3 billion is uh, actually a 45 30 to even 70 seconds uh, sometimes and it took me 13 gigabyte in the gpu and 5 gigabyte of the ram the the other model the 14 billion parameter took me 8 10 minutes Okay, of rendering, it takes me the entire 24 gigabyte of my GPU of uh, memory, and it takes 18 gigabyte of memory of, of my machine. Sometimes it even get to 25, depends. Now, I just want to add one more thing here about the memory. This is the 16 bit, but you can have the 8 bit for the 14, uh, for the 14 billion parameter which will give you uh, the, the same uh, GPU memory, the same time of rendering. It will just take you uh, less uh, uh, memory instead of uh, 16 or 18 gigabyte. It will take you only nine. So it's good if you don't have enough uh, uh, memory on your machine, but it's a big but. If you have a memory, uh, if you have a problem of uh, a GPU memory, it won't help you so much because the GPU is still taking the entire GPU memory, my entire 24 gigabyte, which is really bad. Now, I want to give you, to show you another point on, on the video. When I uh, render a short video of two seconds, four seconds, etc., and I will show you how it looks like the same prompt, the same everything. Okay? So here it's a very short one. You see, it's a two-second video. Here, it's a little longer. It still keeps a very good quality, okay? Now, this is a longer video, okay? This is, a, this is a video of six seconds. And you can see, again, we show it again. You can see the artifacts. Start to have, during the end, 
artifacts. You see those? It's part of the video rendering. And this is much longer video. Like uh, I, I did a seven seconds video, 120 frames. You can see it's not look good at all, at all. It's like the, 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 the model start to do very weird things. So this model is good up to four seconds, something like that, 65 frames, which is good. After that, it go berserk. Okay, so uh, take into account those things. First of all, we need to upgrade the comfy itself. Now, you, you can see in the release notes of uh, Confi, if you go to the release, all the releases, the, the one starts to get in in 3.16, 0.3.16. Now, if you want to make sure that you are in the latest uh, Confi, you can go to the Confi UI, go to the settings, about, and you can see here your, your version. Now, to upgrade to 0.3.18, which has lots of the fixes that the guys did, lots of memory fixes, etc., for, for the one uh, model itself. So you, you will need to uh, follow the video I will have in, in the description, how to safely upgrade Confi so you won't lose it. And if you have a mistake, you can always roll back, okay? It can, it can uh, have issues of upgrading if you upgrade from a very um, old version and you can have issues. It happened to me and I need to install uh, to reinstall it because I didn't do those steps. Then I discovered how to do that. So please follow the, the instructions of the upgrades. Okay, now let's see the, the model file it's, uh, themselves. First of all, you have the, the model page. I will give you the, the link in the, in the description. And I want to show you what you have in each uh, folder. You, you will have this link in, my, uh, in the description that will give you the, the clip vision. This is more for image to video. I will uh, cover it in the next video. This, the next one is the model. So you have here lots of models and you can see that you have image to video and text to video. Please use the 1.3 billion uh, uh, options. Okay, that one is uh, working great. And uh, it will take you uh, around uh, one minute to two minutes, depending on your, your GPU. I got it in 35 to 40 seconds on my uh, 4090 GPU. Also, you have the 14 billion uh, uh, models. Now, those are very heavy. This one takes me like 10 minutes to render each, each uh, video, which is, look, in most of the cases, better. But it's a lo very long time. And uh, the difference between those is the memory. Here, it will take me around the third, uh, 18 gigabyte, 20 gigabyte. That one will take half of, half of the memory. But the, the problem is that the time, uh, the amount of GPU memory is the same. Both of them ate my entire 24 gigabyte of memory. So if you don't have uh, lots of memory in your video card, it will take you without, without uh, any difference almost between them. It's only the amount of memory outside on from your RAM will be lower, so you can run it, but it will take long, longer time because it needs to copy data from the RAM to the card, etc. all the time. Okay? So I'm, I, I, I use the, the BF16 uh, uh, because I had enough memory on my machine. The VAE, uh, you will need to download it and copy it. I will show you right now where, where to put them. And you have the text encoder, which you have now 16-bit and 8-bit. Uh, you will have less memory usage when you will use it. I didn't saw such a big, a big difference, but you can, but uh, you will have another, uh, you can save another two, three gigabytes of memory, which is, now let's see where we are going to put all, all the files. So, in the model folder, when you have all the models, you have multiple folders inside. The VAE, go here, I usually, usually put it under the, the, the model itself, or you have it here. You have, the, in the unit, in the units folder, you will open a, a folder called one and copy all your models here. And you have the clip vision. This is more for the uh, image to video. Now the text encoder will go here. Again, I have the two options so I can, uh, let's see the, the modeling in action. I changed a little bit the, the, the demo that, that they gave. 
I changed the video uh, component, so it will be. Uh, uh, I usually use uh, AI to generate my prompts because I like uh, more uh, descriptive prompts. So I use the OpenAI uh, uh, prompt uh, generator that I wrote. You you can also download it from the config UI. I think in the list, and I use uh, Mickey uh, uh, wildcard because I have uh, predefined uh, prompts like different ideas for prompts and then everything going to the AI and give me a very nice descriptive uh, prompt. After that, we are lo uh, loading the, the model. You can see here that we have different models. So I, I can select here from, from the model that, that I have. I want the text model, the 1.3 billion. The prompt itself, I'm adding it directly from the AI. And I have here some general one that I copied, which uh, give me a little better uh, result from what I don't want. And all the rest will the same. I, I have the VAE loader that, 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 I, that I'm taking and take it out to the video combine. It will uh, put everything together. Here I have the latent. The latent will, I'm taking 480 because I don't want to wait long, a uh, longer time. The 720, Two times, three times the rendering, depend what you want. It's not that you, if you give the same one bigger, it will give you totally different uh, rendering because it's a uh, different latent and you can get different uh, results. Now I will, I will close the camera because when I run it, it will uh, eat my, uh, my entire GPU. So let's see it in, in action. Okay, so it took. 78 seconds to, uh, to, to render it and uh, it's for 33 frames. So let's see the, the result. It is very nice. Very smooth one. I can totally use it for, for something because it looks very good. I will give you the, the workflow that I have here and I will give you also a workflow which is without my AI. So it will be easier for you to, uh, to run it if you like. If you don't have a open AI API key, so you can generate different uh, a prompt uh, with it. Now, I want to note something. The model itself, uh, the text to image is generating a very nice video, but the better way is to use the image to video, which you actually generate a new video, a new image with a different model give it to that model and it, it will take that image and will make it as a, as a animation, as a, as a video, which is better because the first image that it creates, it's not so good. So look on, this, on the next video and how I make a, a workflow that will generate an image and throw it to the model itself and to make it a better uh, video, a better uh, result of a video. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video about how to take a an image and make it to a video. Bye.